certain smell will take me back to when I was young. How come I'm never able to identify where it's coming from? I'd make a candle out of it. Guys, that is Black Panther 22 here, and today I'll be showing you how to connect a PS3 controller to your phone. So what you'll need is a PS3 controller. As you can see I have one here. Um, and turn this off. Then you'll need your phone. And you'll also need the OTG cable. So it has a little USB inlet there and a little thing that um, plugs into your phone. So first step is you want to just get your PS3 charger as you can see I have one here PS3 charger plug that into your OTG cable like that then you just want to plug that into your PS3 controller. Like that. So as you can see it's in. And then you wanna um, get your smartphone ready. Um, here I'm using a Samsung Galaxy S4. So you just wanna plug the OTG cable into your um phone like that and it should turn on your phone and you should also see these blinking lights on your PS3 controller and that means it has connected so then what you want to do is grab your phone Turn it on, do your passcode, and then open up your phone, like that. So now I'll show you. So guys, you got your PS3 controller in, with the OTG cable connected to the PS3 charger. So you just want to press that once, the PS button, and then you want to go back to your phone, and as you can see, you're moving it around with your PlayStation controller. I don't, I think you need a rooted phone for this. I'm not too sure. Um. So yeah, and this works for most games. For an example, I'm using Minecraft. takes a little while to load. That's for my phone. So, as you can see, using this. To control my phone. I'm not using my hands. This is no trick. I'm not trying to scam you. See? It's 100% working. It's not laggy at all. It's perfectly fine. Um, most uh, works on most phones, but some phones it doesn't. I tried it on that phone. And since this phone isn't compatible with um, USB devices being plugged into it, can't do it, so it won't work. But as you can see, I'm moving around just like usual.
and this is so cool guys honestly um go back I oh, know maybe it's start yeah start and then you've got the menu so you can quit and with the battery percentage it is still the same it uh, works perfectly fine um sometimes when you're doing it you want to unplug your PS3 because I'll show you soon when you unplug the OTG cable from the PS3 controller it actually turns on your PS3 so yeah um, and if you press the PS button it'll take you home and if you hold it it'll bring up the recent applications and you can clear it you can do this on hill climb racing but um, sometimes it doesn't work like with the menu like with the menu you can you just have to do it automatically with your or manually with your um, hands but then you can do it with the controller um, when you're actually playing it um, so yeah um, it's really really cool with um, most first person shooter games um, yeah so that's how you connect your PS3 controller to your phone so to disconnect it you just got to pull that out and I don't know if you guys will hear it but um, you can hear a beep and we'll come over here as you can see my PlayStation is turned on um, so yeah and um, that's how you connect your PS3 controller to your phone please like and subscribe this video guys and get it out there, share it to heaps of your friends um, show heaps of people because really need to get some subscribers some subscribers um, but yeah that's how you um, connect your PS3 controller to your phone um, so I'll see you guys in the next video I'm sorry I haven't been uploading very often and that's because uh, my computer has been taken off me for I think it was about two weeks um, so you guys um, see you in the next video um, so yeah please subscribe and like hope you enjoyed the video I don't want to say goodbye but yeah. sometimes things just don't go as we'd like sometimes things